My name is Eric Bridges. I'm the Director of Natural Resources for the City of Lakeland. And we're here today to talk to you about utility line trimming. Some of you may have noticed that the contractors for light, gas, and water are in town, in Lakeland, trimming trees back from the power lines. And that's one of the subjects that causes our citizens and staff and commissioners a lot of concern in Lakeland. So we're going to talk to you today about what we're doing a little different in Lakeland to make it better. So the reason we want to try and do utility tr line trimming differently in Lakeland is because in Lakeland we're proud of our natural resources and we want to take this seriously and manage them properly. And we have a natural resources board that's voted on the issue and asked the utility company to prune properly. And our board of commissioners supported that and passed a resolution asking the power company to do proper utility line trimming because it's good natural resources management. Okay, so the way it's been done in the past has been topping and stubbing, is what we call it, stub cutting. And that's where the cut is made on the tree at a random point, and the tree then has to grow vigorously back toward the line. Again, it's called topping and stubbing. That's the way it's been done, and that's what we're going to try to stop. What we want to do is called target pruning, which, as shown on this diagram, is cutting just outside what's called the branch collar or branch bark ridge, which we'll now show you an actual example. The reason we call it target pruning is because we're talking about pruning at a point on the tree that the tree would naturally shed the limb and it gives the tree a chance to seal over the wound. This wood here is called callus wood and it's closing over the wound. As you can see, there's no branches sprouting this way. So if you prune at the right place, you can actually direct the growth away from the power lines and prevent the tree from sprouting back toward the power line. This is a proper cut. This is called natural target pruning, which is what we want to do. Behind me is a tree for which we would recommend removal. This tree has been topped repeatedly, and each time it's been topped, it sprouts back toward the line. It also has fungus in the main stem, which is a result of the topping, and the branches are weakly attached, which means they're more likely to break, which is also a result of the topping. So for this type of tree, we would recommend removal. So how is this going to look differently? Well, as you can see here, a large tree growing directly underneath the power lines will have to be removed. This tree was very tall and it had no chance of becoming a mature, healthy tree and not conflicting with the power lines. So we're going to see an increase in removals. Uh, this is something you'll see differently on this next pruning cycle in Lakeland. Large trees under the lines will need to be removed. So here's a situation where you want to plant a small maturing tree, a tree with a mature height of less than 20 feet. Good examples would be red buds or dogwoods. So in this type of location, don't plant a tall tree directly under or near the power lines. So in summary, how this is going to look different for the city of Lakeland, we'll have more removals like this and less topping like that. So as you can see, we're trying to do it differently in Lakeland. And it all boils down to what we like to call putting the right tree in the right place. And in the end, it'll be better for the power company, for the citizens of Lakeland, and for the city as a whole. So, right tree, right place.